Hi guys, good to see you again in July. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Withering Bellevue Commons. This episode is going to be my July real estate market update for all Seattle and all east side neighborhoods. And I'm selling real estate for 23 years in this area. And a lot of people ask me the same question. How's the real estate market? What housing market is doing right now? In this episode, we're going to be unveil all those questions. And if you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe. I hope this data will help you to understand what's happening with local Seattle real estate market and where this market is moving. Should you buy a house right now or maybe should you wait and buy a house in near future? I will start with mortgage interest rates. Mortgage rate daily show for us rates 6.89% as of Friday, July 14. What's happening comparable to last week? The last week we have much higher mortgage rates, about 7.5%, but rates actually dropped after new CPI and PPI reports. We've got new inflation data and data shows for us positive trend. So it was actually better than expected and mortgage rates reduced with the last couple of days. This slide shows you guys month supply of inventory for Snohomish County and King County. And this data for residential properties only. You guys can see comparable to last year, we did have some areas where we have balanced market between two to four months inventory. But current year, we have less than two months inventory. Pretty much we have right now market in a seller's favor as we have less than two months of inventory. And you guys remember 2019, 2020 when COVID starts and we have like forbearance programs and was a lot of talk on news about a lot of people file for loan forbearance program and don't pay for mortgages and supposed to be this big wave of foreclosures and a lot of properties will come on the market and will be flooded market. So where are those foreclosed properties? We didn't see any of them. So we don't see any foreclosure property and market did not really change. In fact, a lot of owners who take advantage of low interest rate refinance properties and they stay on the fence to sell it right now. And that's why we see in several areas a lot of homes coming on the rental pool rather than for sale in uh, summer months. I will start this episode with Seattle data for residential housing market only. Medium close sell price in sale area $930,000 and decrease for 7% year over year. It is decreased comparable to last year, but still higher than it was in 2021 or 2020. And this data tells me uh, if somebody purchased property in sale area in 2021 or prior to those years, if you guys put it home on the market right now, you still can have good equity, you can still get some profit when you sell your property. And we have 1.3 months of inventory. So very similar inventory to 2019, 2018 and 2022. But we still have not enough housing. So we need more homes on the market. Uh, we need more properties for sale. That's why we have very competitive market right now. And that's why we see multiply offer situation in many locations. 42% homes in Seattle area sold above asking price and 24% at asking price. Combining together, you guys can see with me, it's like 66% homes sold at or above asking price. And this is, was a big number. People who pay over asking price pay approximately 6% above asking price. People who was able to negotiate, we have only about 16% homes sold less than asking price able to negotiate approximately 3% from the list price. In Seattle area, out of 464 homes sold last month, 75% homes sold less than 15 days on the market. Those homes sold are almost at list price, about 0.6% higher, just a bit higher. A lot of houses sold less than 15 days on the market. This slide will help you guys to understand market absorption in all those areas and this is included inside also and you guys can see in majority areas uh, average sold price was reduced except couple neighborhoods like Kirkland, Rose Hill, Monroe and some Snohomish areas prices was very similar comparable to last year but in all other areas 
prices just slightly reduced. I'm not gonna go through each city, but you are welcome to stop this video and watch what's happening in your city to understand this market absorption. And now let's move on to east side. On east side, medium close sell price last month was $1,450,000. It doesn't change for last three months. It stays the same for last three months for April, May and June. But comparable to a year ago, it's decreased for about 3%. 3% is not really a lot. And we do have right now 1.1 months inventory in sales east side. And you guys can see on this slide, similar to 2015, 2016, 2020. You guys can see we don't have enough inventory. So enough it means over two months inventory to have a balanced market. We don't have this inventory for last decade and that's why we have very hotness in real estate market in sales east side and we do have multiple offer situations as well similar to Seattle. Sales east side prices higher than in Seattle area and that's why we have only 39% homes sold above asking price and 16% sold at asking price combining together is 55% so health listings sold at or above asking price and those people who sold it uh, it's worth actually smart owners who listen to the real estate broker with the pricing because you guys can see on this slide also 50 percent listings sold below asking price and they did have price reduction to sell it because originally they wasn't priced correctly and almost like in seattle people who have to pay above asking price pay about 5% and people who negotiate, negotiate about 3% from the listing price. And comparable to sale area, out of 422 homes sold in June in sales east side, 73% homes sold less than 15 days on the market. That's a lot of homes sold less than 15 days on the market. What will be my advice if you are a buyer and looking to buy property right now? Only things I can tell you guys, at the worst case time to sell the house, it's August and December. December, it's holidays, it's very understandable. In August, it's the worst time to sell because everybody live in town and go to vacations. It's the last summer months and before kids go to school in September, every parent try to get advantage of this and live in the town. And with this time, a lot of sellers struggle to sell because we have listings coming on the market every week. And if they're going to be built up, uh, they're going to be built up much higher in August and uh, very difficult to sell in this time property. But for buyers, if you're looking to buy, that's going to be a great advantage for you because uh, you will have choices. Uh, you can negotiate price and probably find something you're looking for. For example, I'm start looking myself to buy investments property right now and I'm not looking just to buy a house I'm looking to buy a condo because condo can be a great deal and you can make a good profit on a condo for example just yesterday I see in a waterfront property Villa Marina in Redmond Washington on the Lake Sammamish was listed one bedroom one best condo with both sleep for $385,000 per Zillow you can rent this condo for $2,000 a month and separately, you can read both sleep for $250 a month for somebody who love boating, can have boat, but don't have place to put a boat on a lake. You can rent this for $250 a month. Combining, it makes great investments. If you put a 25% down payment to get mortgage for this condo, your mortgage going to be paid off and you're gonna make some positive cash flow. If somebody looking for invest right now, invest for like low price condos where you have no rental cap and have no special assessment. This is very important. If you're a seller planning to sell property right now, uh, my advice for you guys going to be to list it not in August, but wait until September. Wait until everybody back to town from vacations and kids go to school and people will back to the shopping mode and going to be going to open houses again and will be traffic again and multiple offer starts again. So if you're a seller, 
prepare your house right now to sell. Uh, if you need help, reach out to me. I, I can help you to prepare this and tell you what you to do the best to sell your property and get top dollar. But hold on until September and list your property in September. All right, before we wrap up this, I want to mention a little bit about new construction because new constructions uh, become in demand right now as builders start building because we have low supply of inventory in the housing market and people moving slowly to, new, to buy new construction homes. Homes. But those new construction homes not listed on MLS, but those builders market to agents like myself information and we know like what's built, what's where, what prices. And if you guys need help, reach out to me. I have a lot of resources for you and I can help you find and select your property. If you like this episode, smash like button and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'm trying to bring you guys value every single month to understand local Seattle and Eastside real estate market. With that guys, have a fantastic week until next episode.